What's going on guys? God bless you. Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Um, it has been a busy week and I don't think I've ever posted this late. Um, so if you're watching it at this time, hey, thank you so much for taking your time on watching this video. Um, I hope you guys had a really, you know, blessed week overall. It's been very busy here on my side. The heat is no joke, guys. No joke. It is hot out here. Um, so I hope you guys are staying hydrated for sure. Um, today's video, it's I don't want to make it very long. It's definitely a topic that I've been asked a lot, a lot about. And I guess I've never really talked about it. And I'm sure <coughs> many of you guys can relate. Many people ask me, hey, Carlos, do you clean uh, the center console or the glove box or even the trunk compartment? That's what this video is about. And uh, anyways, let's get started and let's get right into uh, my opinion on this. Um, when it comes to <coughs> those areas, um, those are what I call safe haven areas or what I call, you know, that's that's an area where it's very private to your customers, right? It's private to us as well. Um, some have the um, the keys to lock those areas, right? Um, but when it comes to your glove box compartment, you know, I am very cautious when opening that because a lot of a lot of customers, especially here in Texas, if they carry right, usually they <coughs> they will put their gun in that area. Um, in their center console, they'll also put their handgun on there, right? Um, but when it comes to those areas. I typically do not clean those areas because, um, like I said, those are areas that I don't touch, um, especially the trunk. The trunk is an area as well that I don't touch unless um, the customer advises that. They're like, hey, can you take care of my truck? Then at that point, I will take care of the trunk as long as the customer uh, removes all their belongings, right? And it goes the same to the... Um, to the center console, to the glove box. I tend to always um, <coughs> let the customers know like, hey, um, before I arrive, right, if you want your glove box and your center console to be detailed, to be cleaned, um, please remove all items out of those areas. I don't touch, I don't remove anything because a lot of the times, guys, you'll run into those issues where the customer will probably call you later and say, hey, by any chance, did you see a receipt I had on this on the uh, center console and things like that? So for that matter, I try to just stay as far as possible away from that topic. Uh, I will let my customers know <coughs> like, hey, just remove all your items, right? If you want me to touch those areas, um, because uh, there's been, I think in the beginning, um, that's where I had a lot of issues um, because I would have customers say, hey, I had a piece of paper here that was really important. Did you see it? You know, and even though, you know, I would be careful and I'll say, you know, unfortunately, I didn't see that paper, right? Some customers will tend to try to blame you for something that maybe they misplaced, right? So when is that topic of cleaning those areas? I don't do them, but I will advise the customers, right? I'll tell them, hey, my, my interior detail includes this, 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 this. Um, one areas or a couple areas that I do not touch for your safety and mine is the glove box, the center console, and the trunk, right? If you want me to uh, service those areas, remove all those items from there, right? Um, but I know, you know, everybody does their business differently. Um, a lot of people will say, well, I take it out and I put it in a bag and all that. Hey, if you do that, that's great for you. Um, but as far as on my side, I don't do that because there's a lot of fragile items, fragile information on there that you want to just kind of just be away from. Because at the end of the day, the last thing you want is an upset customer because you didn't do those. But at the same time, it's our job to explain to the customers really um, what we do, what we don't do. That way they know like seatbelts, I very rarely will touch Um Unless it's like one a big package um, where I'm taking seats out, that's when usually I'll uh, clean the seat belts out, like a smoke odor and all that. That's when I usually remove those types of things, right? I'll take the seat belts off, clean them up nicely, steam clean them, extract them, or whatever the case may be, right? Um, but I hope this video kind of helped you guys out a little bit. Understand um, what to do in those scenarios, right? As for me and my business, I don't um, pull anything out from those areas. 
uh, I will just advise the customers that, you know, those are areas I don't touch. But if you want me to take care of those, make sure you remove everything out of there, you know, because sometimes you'll have those issues where the customer will tell you, hey, you know, um, I don't like my detail. And you'll be like, oh, why? And <clears throat> times they'll tell you, well, you didn't do my my glove box or you didn't do my center console. It still has all these papers in here. You didn't clean it. You know, unfortunately, and that's when I tell customers, you know, in the beginning, I'd be like, well, that's not part of the detail package because you have a lot of sensitive information. Once you tell them that, it kind of brings them down a little bit like, okay, that makes sense. But, you know, do your homework before you get to the car, right? That way you don't run into those issues. That way the customer knows that you told them. Um, and always, I do it in writing, right? I text I text all my stuff. So it's in writing, you know, and they reply with, <laughs> that's fine or that, you know, whatever the case may be, but they understand that you don't provide or you don't do that. You want them to take it out because if they misplace it, that's on them, right? Um, but, you know, I, hopefully this video kind of made sense to you, kind of explained to you a little bit of what I do and what I don't do. Uh, fun fact, on that little video in the beginning of where you saw the glove box, if you saw that CD, that's actually me when I was little. Um, uh, just a little fun fact, if you want to re reverse it and see it, uh, I at one point, um, I was singing and I would travel around um, the states singing at churches. So um, if you didn't catch that, go check it out. It'll give you a good laugh for the day, right? Um, but anyways, uh, God bless you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Um, and I hope you guys stay hydrated, stay cool. Um, really, oh, let me show you guys really quick what um, my uh, my wife and the kids made. Um, it's been hot out here, so I ended up, uh, you know, just something. If you guys are looking for ideas, you know, to kind of how to market yourself, right? I don't do marketing. Um, but for my UPS, Amazon, uh, Postal Service, FedEx drivers, I leave this outside the, the door every day um, with a cooler full of drinks, right? Um, and recently, we just started doing this part here uh, because some people said they were like, oh, you should leave them snacks and stuff, right? So I guess they weren't happy with just water, the people that saw this. So we added snacks to the line. So tomorrow's menu is they're going to get some Slim Jim, they're going to get some Doritos, and you know, just as a thank you, but pretty little cool thing, just wanted to show it to you guys, but anyways, you guys have a blessed day, and I will catch you guys on the next video.